Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I am back with another plan with me for the week of the 1st to the 7th of May. How exciting that we've made it into May. In my Tilly Journals 7x9 Functional Flexi Planner using the barbecue kit which was the April mystery from Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face so you can use my code CAT to save 10% on your orders and there are some autumnal freebies for the next couple of months that you can add. So really exciting. And the foil that I'm using in this spread is a so I think it's maybe gold shattered hollow. This was back with the smaller SPC foil bundles so I'm not 100% sure what foil it is and I just got it in a rack bag but you can see it best in the bottom washi once I've added that it's very very chunky and I wanted to use a really sort of hot gold for this spread I just felt it really lent well with that color scheme and I actually really like it I don't think there are many spreads I do that would work really well with a foil this chunky but I think this one it does look really good and the bougie boxes I think are probably from rose coloured days also in a kind of like hot gold uh, also I'm watching MasterChef while doing this plan with me <laughs> so in terms of why I decided to use this spread so this was the week of the coronation so I'm sure you all know but um, we got a new king this year and so he was coronated on the Saturday and I am not really a massive royalist so I didn't want to kind of go out of my way to use a coronation kit there were a couple released and it's not that I didn't like them it's just I'm not a royalist um so the only sort of royal themed kit that I've ever used was the week that uh, Harry and Meghan got married um I'm more in support of Harry and Meghan than I am of most other things <laughs> related to the royal family so I didn't want to go really over the top we didn't do anything for it we didn't go to a street party or anything like that but I did watch it and so I wanted to sort of be like, okay, well, what kit do I have that I think could work? And this kit is perfect because on the Sunday, we actually went for a barbecue at our friend's house. And obviously this is a barbecue kit, so it works great. But also um, Becca, the artist that drew this kit for us, she added in a couple of Union Jack flags. And so I thought, well, if I use those boxes, it has those hints of the coronation in there without being excessively coronation focused so I actually think this kit is like it's the most perfect week I could have used it to be honest so I'm really happy with it and I love the overall spread the colors are really kind of spring into summer which is perfect for me I just really like it I really like it so if you don't know I do help Anna with the plan of face mystery so I am always going to be a little bit biased <laughs> towards the mystery uh but you know I help Anna with things like coming up with themes and mood boards and clip art lists and things like that so it does mean I get them gifted for free uh so that's just an FYI on that as well so we are getting into the day by day already this is a bit of a shorter plan with me um sometimes when I'm in the zone I can just do plan with me's quicker and I just didn't have as much uh, footage for the beginning and I think I don't make as many mistakes with this one I don't rip up as many boxes there's still a bit of it though I mean we're, we're doing it right now on screen so <laughs> there is still a bit of it um and with this one because it has two pinks and then the yellow and the blue I was kind of having to think a lot about how I alternated them but I as I say I love the overall look of this it's so cute so in terms of the day by day so just to let you know I don't really go through where every specific sticker is from because I buy from the same shops I'm very particular about where I buy from so most of my functional stickers are from Planner Face, Squirrel Prints Co, Stick With The Plan Co, Paper Shire, Coffee Monsters Co, What's More With Love, Joy Of Planning but if you do want to know where a particular sticker is from please feel free to let me know and I'll be more than happy to assist so Monday the 1st that is missing a date dot because I have <laughs> I've got to that point of the date dots where I don't have many left one thing I'll never understand about date dots is how I can end up with enough date dots for everything other than particular days and it's usually the first the 13th and like the 23rd and I really don't know why so yeah unfortunately I couldn't mark that it was the first of the month <laughs> but how does that happen because days run into each other don't they like you you get to the end of the month and then it's the beginning of another month so I don't understand how but I really need to when I make my next plan of face order I do need to get some more date dots so the first thing that I marked on Monday was that it was a bank holiday. This was glorious in the UK because we had so many bank holidays in May. We had three of them and it was just the best and I wish that it was like that all the time. But yeah, so we had a bank holiday. I had a very productive bank holiday Monday, which I should have rested, but it was productive. So I filmed my kit lineup. So that would have been my May kit lineup probably because I'm quite good about releasing my 
kit lineup videos relatively on time. Maybe it was my April kit lineup, but actually, but I'm not too bad with my kit lineups. It's my plan with me, so that are behind. Then I was doing some editing. Then I was updating my YouTube playlists uh, because this was sort of when. I was in the transition of moving my reading channel back into my planning channel and so it was kind of having to, I've not deleted my book channel uh, because I want the videos that are on there but I was sort of integrating some of those into playlists on my planning channel and making sure I had playlists on my planning channel that included my reading content so it was just working on updating all of that. Then we had Pizza Express wraps. Have any of you had these? Because they are disgusting, aren't they? <laughs> we also had a disaster with this. Not a disaster, that's so first world dramatic. But we ordered um, one meat one and one vegetarian one. My partner's vegetarian. And they mislabeled them. And I did not realise. And I was eating mine thinking this is just really horrible. I just do not like this at all. And I ate over half of it until Stuart was like, I think I'm eating meat. So yeah, very distressing and not great on Pizza Express. Um, but then, anyway, then Mark, I was in my fields. I'm not saying it was caused by the Pizza Express <laughs> wraps, but it probably wasn't helped. I think I was not having a, just a great emotional day that day. Then on Tuesday, I marked that we had a team meeting at work. This was a very heavy work day because I think we then, I think that was like a maybe a wider team meeting and then we also had what's called my team retrospectives. So I run mini team meetings with my team and then we have bigger teams and then department team meetings and sometimes they do just all fall on the same day it's quite hard to get everyone in in person in my team so sometimes when we're in we do quite a lot of back-to-back -back work we also went on a pizza express celebratory lunch because we'd had our really busy period in may and then most of my team took time off in april and so it was just the first time we could all get together to sort of celebrate hey look at us we did a great job <laughs> so it was nice to do that pizza express two days in a row though but this time i tried the it's like um is it like a courgette linguine or something like that and it's it i really liked it then but then i had it a second time at a different pizza express and didn't like it as much but it is or maybe it's zucchini but it's um it is like the lower calorie meals that they have so it's not bad then i went on a walk uh oh no i walked to rehearsal i was like that was good of me but no the rehearsals that i go to are quite a walk from the station so it's a good way for me to try and fit in a walk by walking to the rehearsals but we are hitting when it will be too dark for me to do that now i feel so sad that we i really suffer from sad so i'm really struggling with the fact that we are losing the the joy that is the sun sunshine and the long days of the sun and it's hard for me because I watch everyone else getting so excited that we're going into autumn and I love autumn art uh, that's probably one of my favorite seasons to plan but I do not like being in autumn generally myself <laughs> I need to just get into a Gilmore Girls rewatch and maybe that will save me you know then on Wednesday I marked that I had a productive day go me and then we had an event in the evening which is why I haven't marked it because it's work related but we had an event in the evening where something went wrong won't go into it but it was just very stressful and we ended up staying for like an extra hour kind of just dealing with that and it's all fine it hasn't come to anything but um we were just a bit uh, worried about it and emotional and I was just looking after someone in my team so yeah uh, so we ended up staying late so I didn't leave until about half eight I think um so then and then I called my mum on the way home and then I was very much in my feels I was I mean I still am going through some stuff and it just was like everything piling on top of each other on this day and I just you know needed some sleep uh then I marked a gusto meal um t I'm gonna be honest Stuart has been cooking the majority of our gusto meals lately uh for the last few months so I think that was probably him cooking a gusto meal uh rather than me but I've decided to keep marking them because I have the custom gusto meal strict script from plan face you won't be able to get that unfortunately but i like really like to mark gusto meals i like how they look in my planner so i do still mark them even though the chances are stuart would have cooked this then on thursday it was may the 4th so i marked may the force be with you or may the force be with you uh we didn't really do anything star warsy on this day and i didn't use a star wars kit obviously because i felt this barbecue kit was just too perfect not to use so i decided to go ahead with this one but i did have a good day i cleared my emails which is rare for me to do uh and needs doing again like my work emails uh, we won't even talk about my personal ones but yeah so um it was good that I managed to do that then my Laurel Denise planner arrived uh so I do have a number of videos on my channel that you can watch of me using this planner I am still a bit on the fence about what I'm going to do with this planner next year and whether I keep it up or not um just because I'm just not consistent with planners so we'll see what that means for me this year but I'm going to try and think a bit more on 
on that but I filmed an unboxing then I did go on an actual walk uh, so that was good then I had a burrito there's so many burritos in these plan with me's watched some YouTube and then had a bath I guess I would have been reading but I didn't mark what I was reading then on Friday I marked that I was really tired and then had therapy and I have therapy at like eight usually so that would have been like extra tiring on that day then I marked that I had toil in the afternoon, I think because I just reached a point where I was just so tired I couldn't function anymore. But I cleaned the kitchen because I'm, I just don't understand why that's how it often goes for me. But it's hard to find the time to do things, so sometimes I do have to fit them in when I'm off work. Uh, I lay on the sofa, Stuart made a gusto meal I expect if I was feeling that low. Uh, then I went on a walk again and then had rehearsal. Um, had I been cast yet? No, I get cast the week after this, I believe. So I was in, these were like the pre audition rehearsals. Then on Saturday, I marked that I went to Morrison's and then I baked some cakes. I don't remember what cakes those were. Brownies. Well, oh no, they were cakes. Yeah. I made these like, um, just normal sponge with like a lemon, um, a lemon frosting. They were nice actually. Um, and then some fruit on the top as kind of jubilee cakes that I took to the barbecue, not jubilee, coronation cakes that I took to the barbecue on Sunday. Then I marked that I was in my feelings. Um, I was getting imposter syndrome about how good my baking was. <laughs> this was a really bad week for emotions. Then, as I said, we watched the coronation uh, and then I was just playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then I expect Stuart once again made a gusto meal. Uh, so, you know, it was... We didn't do a lot to celebrate the coronation. It was just a bit more chill. Then on Sunday, I got up early and did some plan of face mystery work. As I say, help Anna with the mystery. I filmed my first Laurel Denise plan with me. Then we went for a barbecue at our friend Tom's, which was really nice. It was a really nice day. It was raining on the Saturday, but it was lovely on the Sunday. So we just had some chats in the sun. But then I had to rush back because we forgot the Ocado order was coming. So I had to like leg it back. He only lives around the corner, so not too bad. And then I didn't go back. Stuart stayed there to play games and stuff in the evening. And I just read When in Rome, which is really good book that I enjoyed. So that is it for this week's plan with me. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe. In the description, I will have a link to all of the shops featured in this world, my favourite shops, as well as my Goodreads and my Instagram if you want to check out any more content from me. We've obviously got loads of extras for this kit as well, so that will go into my Leftovers album. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!